Ahoy hoy! I'm in my bike shorts because I'm ready to rumble with my coffee. Today, the build streak of 2022 continues. If you guys haven't noticed, we are currently on a build streak. I don't know, the videos I posted recently, I feel like I'm in the zone. So I feel like it makes sense for this video to be a building with my favorite items video. Just before we get into the video, I also wanted to announce something very exciting. Channel memberships have just launched. In the new year, I am going to be live streaming here on YouTube. But kind of like Twitch with subscribers, uh, YouTube has members. So members will get loyalty badges next to their name and also custom emojis you can use in the chat. The cool thing is though, members can use the emoji in YouTube comments and some of you guys are already members and you're already using them. So if you're a member, make sure to comment the emojis down below. And the more members we have, the more emojis I can add for us. Members will also have access to bonus videos here on YouTube. So every second week, I'll have a new video for members, hopefully weekly. I already have a behind the scenes video showing you guys how I make a YouTube video. We're also gonna be doing a members build shell challenge together. If you can't become a member, don't panic because I'm still posting all of my normal videos. The live streams will also be for everyone. Memberships are just a way for me to give back to those of you guys giving the extra support. What's up members? This is the behind the scenes of trying to film. Oh yeah, this is behind the scenes content. <laughs> Bowser comes in, makes a lot of noise. Yay! Yay! Oh. Uh -oh. Funny. That's not behind the scenes content. So if you'd like to become a member and get access to all of this, there is a join button next to the subscribe button on my channel. Also click a link in the description down below. If you're on iPhones, you might need to go to a desktop to join as well. Anyway, let's jump into the video. All right, so I guess the first thing we got to do is pick our favorite world to build in. What is my favorite world? I have so many. It really depends on my mood. If I could only build in one world for the rest of my years, maybe it would be Brindleton Bay. I almost feel like I should get like all of my favorite items out at the start, but that would probably take forever. And I can guarantee this is gonna come out as a modern build. <laughs> All right, so one of my favorite things to do is definitely like open plan living. So we'll do like a balcony and yeah we'll come into like a lounge room we'll have a dining room and then we'll have a kitchen whoa this is really long i love lots of space in my houses too in terms of favorite couches like i have so many favorite couches sounded so aussie then couches this is actually one of my new favorites so that's a newie in terms of favorite chairs Oh, definitely these. This is my favorite armchair, I think. Ooh, what's my favorite coffee table? I actually really like using these. Oh, these are definitely deli faves, aren't they? <gasps> oh my God, and I love these. You know, I just realized there's a lot of faves from newer packs. Oh, and we're definitely gonna do a fireplace that is a fave. I probably use this one the most, but my favorite is probably this one from Get Together. I don't get to use this one as much because it takes up more room, but it is probably my favorite. So, so far, so good in terms of the space in the floor plan. Of course, we'll fix this up and make it look better. Ooh, another thing I've been doing recently is like entrances from the side. I don't know why we started or I started doing this, but I just love it. So we'll do a side entrance. Okay, I'm just gonna whack down a few things here. These are not my favorite items yet. We will refine them, but just to figure out the space, we have this is what we'll do we should probably have a bathroom hey <laughs> the bathroom here and maybe a second bedroom over on this side I'm just gonna move the lot because I feel like we need a bit more room my favorite wall height is middle height and my favorite roof type is probably angled and platforms I feel like my builds are kind of minimal I you know what I like to think let me know in the comments down below if you agree I like to think my builds are more clean easy to route around in and minimal a nice balance between gameplay efficiency and aesthetic am i right or are you guys like girl that's not what you do at all that's what, that's how i think of myself <laughs> i don't know where this obsession with diagonal wood started for decking but for some reason in my brain diagonal wood equals decking i don't know is anyone else the same favorite fencing is a healthy balance between the green hedging girl loves a green hedge obviously glass uh for indoors from get together like this one for inside but i think my favorite outdoor fencing is probably this one this was from the backyard stuff pack i hope stuff packs come back i liked stuff packs i know not everyone did but i sure did or i sure do also, I'd like to have a little outdoor backyard area just here. Like, you know, just a little 
a little something out the back. I'm also starting to run into the issue that I was worried about when the favorite things don't go together. I feel like we need to make some changes to make them all go together. I love the idea of charcoal wood actually in real life just because of the anti-flammable properties and also the fact that apparently you don't have to maintain them at all, which is so good. Obviously in The Sims that's different. I don't know if these bricks really go, even though they're my favorite. <gasps> what happens if we did a little pivot? Nobody freak out. We love change. Everyone's screaming, I hate change. To tie in the favorite brick, we actually go with another one of my favorite roof types, which is the farmhouse look. The modern farmhouse, which I'm hearing Americans are very tired of the modern farmhouse because apparently it's been so overdone. Whereas here, I feel like it's still like, there's not that many around. Like I wouldn't say there's more modern farmhouses here than other kinds of houses. So I still love a modern farmhouse. Ah, oh, that's gorge. Also, I love the fact we're like, we're not gonna focus on the build too much in this video. And we're spending like the whole video perfecting the build. <laughs> see this, now this is tying in the colors. You see what I mean? Oh my gosh, also for my coffee, I need to poop so badly. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, that's much better. But in terms of windows, you know, I think my favorite windows are probably eco. Like there's so many eco lifestyle things that I love. Like eco lifestyle could be, oh, it probably is one of my favorite packs. Also at the front of the house, I'm feeling like we need privacy from the road. So even if we do select these two big ones, actually, you know what? I think the square ones are better here. Even if we were to go these, it's almost like we need to put like a screen at the front. And the city living panels are probably my favorite because you don't have to build walls in order to place them, which is very good. Whereas the eco lifestyle ones, they might have better swatches, but you do have to uh, build walls to place them. The only thing is I've just noticed here that they do poke through this so I'm wondering if we should use the eco lifestyle ones I mean both of them are great see these are the eco ones and we could actually do maybe not black but do like a nice timber that's a little brighter so let's see what that looks like let's place a wall in here momentarily we also have horizontal ones but if we're doing favorites horizontal put the walls down so I can actually whoops see what I'm doing hold down shift so we can place multiple at once Oh, just change the uh, lighting. I never use the shortcut for lighting, but it is L. I don't know why I never use it. Okay, what does that look like? That's cute. And then we can probably build the little wall like that. Kind of set it in. Oh, bless you, Bowsy. It's got a little achu there. Oh, and I managed to completely delete a window on this side. Anyway, that kind of gives the illusion, I feel like, of a little bit more privacy. I mean, we could even grow vines up here. Vines are another favor of mine, but now I have to delete that again. <laughs> Let's just see what it looks like. So where are my vines at? These are an absolute favorite. These are from vampires. Like, for some reason, I feel like they're from Get Together, I think, because we got other vines in that pack. Okay, and then in terms of, like, plants and hedges and landscaping, I think this hedge, just from the base game is probably the hedge I do use the most. It's just really easy to place. It's versatile. It kind of goes in any world almost. <gasps> In terms of favorite trees, my favorite tree is this one. I love this, the American beech tree. And we also have two versions of this. We have, oh, this is the European beech tree. Well, hello. Oh my God, the build streak is continuing. I wonder why I like this house so much. All right, so now we're on to the real Truco business, which is the real favorites. You know, I do like a lot of these eco wallpapers. I, I kind of like the soft gray. Another color I've been getting into recently is actually the cream color, I think from, is it Jungle Adventure? Oh yeah, I love this. This is very like organic. I don't mind it with the white either. It's just very earthy and in some areas it looks more like a gray. I just find that to be really nice. Also the base game one's basically exactly the same, just a slightly different texture. So my favorite rug surprisingly is probably actually this one from laundry day it's very plain and natural looking which i really like and i love these side tables i love both of those side tables i'm not sure if they really should be used in the same area though so maybe we can you know put them somewhere else i don't know i'm just gonna put one over there <laughs> 
actually, we can use it as like a welcome to the house side table. The clutter kit definitely has some of my new favorite clutter items, like the phone and keys, the glasses, a little journal. And I'm a huge fan of all of these tea mugs. I love the tea mugs. I use some of those. These are my favorite pendant lights. And I also really, really love this hanging plant, which I'm sure you guys can tell because I use it all the time. It is very easy to guess my favorite curtains, which is also a new addition. These uh, Desert Lux curtains are just fantastic. The only thing is I wish the curtain rod was in the curtain section because every time I place them, I then have to go to kits. I think it's in wall hangings, yeah. There are a lot of paintings in The Sims 4 that I really like, but I think this is one that I've used the most over the years. I love how soft it is. And a newer painting that I really love are these Dream Home Decorator ones. I think they have some really lovely prints on them, earthy colors, and just really contemporary. <gasps> and my new favorite plant that I have also been using nonstop is this one. And I actually have a favorite colorway, which is the terracotta pot with the dark leaves. Again, that's more of like a natural look that I really appreciate. And I've been using this nonstop since it came out. TVs, you know, the favorite TV is either this big one or probably more often than not this one. It's just a very clean wall mounted TV that isn't like too much. And this is probably my favorite big plant, which probably a lot of people like. I also really love sizing down these ottomans from Snowy Escape and just like tucking them underneath the coffee table because that's what we do at our house. We have ottomans and footstools that just tuck under the table. Well, we have one. I shouldn't say like we have multiple, but they're really handy to have and just nest. And I also really love this one as well. I don't think I'll use this one right here. I'll use one of my favorite accent chairs, which is an eco lifestyle one, just this one. I like the two-tone in it. It's also a nice way to add a bit of darker wood into the build as well. I think one feature wall that I use a lot is this one from base game, especially in the white. I think that's a really nice one. I also like this base game one a lot. And I quite like uh, the fitness stuff pack. This one in a gray or a brown, I think looks really pretty. Uh, maybe this one's more of a classic deli that we'll use here. There are multiple dining tables that I really like. This is one, but it's probably too short for this area. Another one that I really do love is this one from Snowy Escape. That's really cool. I love this one for a bench kind of dining area. I might place that outside. This is such a classic as well. You can't really go wrong with that one. And this one is great too. Maybe we'll go the eco one. Um, but yeah, I'd probably pick one of these the most. I'd never have a glass dining table in real life though, just because I'd be too lazy to clean all the schmears off of it. Favorite dining chair is really easy for me. It's just this one. I like it in a lot of different swatches and it's actually very similar to the real life dining chairs I have in real life. These are my favorite uh, lights. I was wondering, I might like to do a hint of brown or even the green on these chairs just to get a little bit more earthiness into the build because that's what I've kind of recently. I also love this plant. This is more like a decorative thing to add to the dining table because I'm actually not sure if your sims can eat around it, but I just think it looks so pretty on the dining table when it's not in use. I often will uh, flip rugs to be horizontal if they're not big enough vertically and just kind of mismatch them and put them together like that. Okay, favorite bookshelf. Oh, this is a tough one. This one definitely has been used a lot, particularly in the brown swatch. I love that swatch. But I also love the non bookshelf that's here in displays, uh, which is this eco one. And then to make it work as a bookshelf, I would then put bookshelf clutter on it. So that would be like one of these items that your Sims can uh, grab books from. So it can be made into a bookshelf. I think it looks great in lots of different swatches. The black's pretty cool. These dream home decorator items are probably my favorite uh, for kitchens. These counters, drawer eyes counter. Previously it was a island living counter. Usually I'd probably like them in lighter, brighter colors, but for this house, I think the dark actually works really well. And I will add that I would never pick a dark kitchen for my real life house, but this is an example of my Sims preferences being a little bit different to my real life preferences. Fridges are really hard because this is the only built-in fridge, but I don't know. I'm always like unsure about which fridge to use. I guess I probably use this one the most. 
This is like the sink I always use ever since this pack came out. This sink is the best. Unless I'm using custom content, which probably use custom content. <laughs> cupboards are a tricky one. Like I'm not a huge fan of the cupboards that go with these counters just because this cupboard looks the same every time you place it. So it's very difficult to use. You kind of have to use a whole heap of these really. Love the dream home decorator stoves. I actually like the one with the rounded hobs on it. And favorite bin, always the base game silver one in the black or white swatch just tucked under a counter there i think i'll put this plant over here on the kitchen island just because we have so much room there and that'll look awesome and then i can put uh, my favorite fruit bowl on the table here instead i don't know if you guys would pick my favorite appliance but it's actually the tea maker because i feel like with gameplay it's probably the most useful because it combats the colds that your sims can get bar stools Okay, there's a lot of bar stools I really like. I love these snow escape ones. These are so cool. They look so good, but they would be so uncomfortable to sit on in real life. So sometimes I feel like choosing a more comfortable looking stool, like this one with a little bit of a backrest from Dream Home Decorator. Sometimes I use these ones. Um, I really like these ones too. They're very nice, but I think for this build, I might actually use a snowy escape because they just, they just look so cool. And then in terms of something to go over the counter, I would like just a long, thin drop light like this one, but without the thingies on it with a little bit more length. Uh, sometimes I use this one. That's pretty cool. I'm kind of getting over that one a bit. I'm probably steering more towards these types for now, just because it's the closest to what I ideally would like to use. Uh, but then again, they're, they're so high up on this roof line. They kind of do look a little strange. What other lights do I like in a kitchen? Oh, I guess the bowling day ones I like a lot. Maybe these ones. These are these are good over a kitchen bench. Yeah, we'll go those. Okay, so that is a very favorite uh, living space. It's very neutral. I'm so boring. <laughs> I feel like we need something here. Oh, we can always put a favorite skill building item and that would be gardening or an art easel. Art easels just look really pretty. I don't know, they're just a good time. Actually, I like these new lights. They're really cool and they actually give a lot of lighting in the room, surprisingly. It's looking a little bit too neutral even for me. Oh, I love the poo poo green color. Yeah, because I, I do find that I need some color. There's typically two outdoor sets I'll go for, either this bar number that I absolutely love, or I will go for the backyard. I think it was a stuff pack, wasn't it? This one. But for this space that we have outside, let's go for this bar situation. I think we need an awning out here. Love this awning, another eco lifestyle. And I also love this little barbecue. Usually we'll go like a bright color for a bit of fun. Um, but yeah, that's, that's cute. I like that a lot. Bathrooms. I have no idea why, but I love this toilet so much. I think it's because it kind of looks like it's eco-friendly. And you know, I'm not like a perfect sustainable person, but I like to do small things that hopefully contribute to change. So I think I'm just drawn to, to using this toilet for that reason. I also think I want to keep this bathroom white now I'm looking at it. Or cream. Also, this bathroom is absolutely huge. Wait, is this the ensuite? Good lord. Good grief. Okay, well, I guess we will fit a bathtub in here. Favorite, easily from Sparte. So I guess we do that at the window. We have the shower here. I probably use this shower the most, but honestly, I probably just like these showers. I think they look really cool. So I would probably rather do like a, we could do that, like a shower like this. Looks pretty nice. I mean, maybe I should draw it in. Hey, what happened to my light in here? I think it got deleted. I do feel like we don't really have enough sinks um, for bars bathrooms all the sinks kind of look like they're meant to be in a kitchen to me so yeah I'd love to see more of those I am a huge fan of the new puddle mirror I think that's pretty cool I love this mirror as well but probably realistically for a bathroom I would just go the classic base game ones and put three of them behind the sinks like this um, I might even layer more just to close up the gaps as well or just do two of them on either side and then have some kind of sconce light in the middle the only problem is I actually don't really like any of the sconce lights at the moment. <laughs> uh, maybe this one because it's... Oh, I don't even like that. I, d 
I don't know, the sconce lights I'm just not feeling at the moment at all. They just all look quite dated to me. So you know what, I'm just gonna go a big mirror here. And then I'm gonna get my favorite pot plant and put it right here. Yay! Okay, so that's a bathroom. You know, the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm kind of tempted to change it back to the gray tiles, which I wasn't gonna do, but now I'm like kind of feeling it. I like the idea of the contrast. What does that look like? Ew, no, we're going back to the white. Or could we go the cream? <gasps> oh, like the sandy color. I mean, it's still my favorite tile. It's just maybe not, oh God, no, 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 no. <laughs> We're just going back to this, all right? We'll just, we'll just leave it. Okay, that looks cool. I like it. Let's just go with this. Very nice, very cool. Could even change that bathtub to the black. Oh my gosh, we could even do a darker toilet. That, okay, kind of feel like in real life, I wouldn't like that, but in The Sims, it looks kind of cool. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's just have a little bit of fun. Ooh, we could do the bricks here. Oh, yes. Okay, love it. All right, so in here, this is the main, bedroom, not the main bathroom. For a bed, I mean this classic bed always go to. It's actually a little bit similar to my real life bed, except it doesn't have that detailing on it. Or I love this one, again, classic, can't go wrong. Love that one as well. But these realistically are my two faves. In the past, I would have gone the city living one. Um, but you know what? I think this is the winner. Side tables, love these from Snowy Escape. And there's a lot of lamps I like. I know I've used this one a lot in the past. Um, that's a real fun one to use depending on the mood. Probably for this house, I'd go for even these little ones I quite like. These ones, pro you know what? This is probably the favorite from Tiny Living. This just looks like something you could pick up from Ikea or it could be something really high end. And I have to say another light that I'm really enjoying at the moment is the, the salt lamp. The salt lamp is really pretty as well. Um, and I also like the tray with the candles on them. So quite a few options here. I mean, I guess you could do a bit of both on the table with the salt lamp. Now in a more coastal looking build, I'd use the vertical wall panels from Cats and Dogs. Favorite wardrobe would definitely be a built-in wardrobe. So could move that across a bit and build it in on this side. Gorgeous, just changed it to green because I'm in a green mood at the moment. For home offices, I do enjoy using a long dining table instead of a desk at times to set up two computers or I would probably like this base game trestle desk the most. So I'd probably put a laptop and a desk or a desk, a desk, a desktop is what I was trying to say. Or maybe like a couple of different kinds of laptop. So then two people can live here. I've also just put a few extra things that I like for a second bedroom. It's quite similar to the first. I love this full length eco mirror. So maybe we could do a little bit of green surprise. I've also changed uh, the brick feature walls to this wood, because I just love that wood as well. Uh, it might be a bit much for some, but I love. And then we could do the green in here. Wait, these aren't green, these are blue. Okay, we'll run with the blue. Yay, we can use my favorite mirror here. I'm gonna keep reusing favorite plants because they really are my favorite. And you know what? We probably do need some kind of bookshelf in this area as well, or skill building items would make sense in an office as well. So let's see, can I squeeze in my favorite bookshelf over here? Okay, this hanging plant doesn't really work in that section. Maybe we can put that in the corner and then, oh, I don't know if we're gonna need a second plant here. Should this table be brown? Yeah, that's looking really nice. I like this space. Very nice, and then maybe, just like a chair in the corner or a little poof. One of our faves. Oh, I love these. These are really cool. Oh, and they tie in with the chairs really nicely as well. So, you know, we can have a little moment. We can place another one over there for a bit of decor. That's so cute. Whoa, that was quick. And then I guess for this outdoor area, what should we do here? What, what other favorite things do I have? Oh my gosh, gardening. Of course, I love planters. I love planters in real life. <laughs> and I love planters in The Sims. So I like to mismatch them. I have so many pots at home, it's kind of unreal. I also really like the werewolf um, 
planters because they just look like a bit more rustic and like they've really been homemade, like just with sleepers or something. So I just put a few of those around. Yeah, veggie patch, you guys. Absolute fave. A little bit of terrain painting around them. That's gorgeous. Okay, this is the finished house. I think we are ready for our favorite house build tour. All right, you guys, here is our beautiful favorites build i love it i wonder why <laughs> it's not surprising to like a build made with all of your favorite things i also really love the privacy uh, window we've set up there and that there's lots and lots of greenery and i think we actually made the right decision making this more of a like contemporary farmhouse style to go with my favorite bricks uh and i did delete the tree at the front here which some of you guys would have noticed just so we can see the house a little bit better oh there's a cat in the corner Okay, so going, all right, so going into our house, this is our side entrance. It does make the entrance a little bit more private. And when you come in, this is our gorgeous lounge room. I love it so much. I like the pendant lights in the corner. I love these couches. Even though in real life, they're probably not the most practical. They definitely look very pretty. And our Sims don't mind, so that's all good. We've got a lovely fireplace. Then this is all open plan living. So if you expanded your household, if you had kids, there's heaps of room for the kids to play. That would that would also be the case in real life. Um, lovely bookshelf there, dining table, lots of neutral colors, like calm, earthy colors and materials, which are definitely my favorite things. A darker kitchen is Oh my gosh, I can hear James streaming. Darker kitchen's a little bit different, but probably is something I've been doing a lot of in The Sims. Then we have our lovely outdoor area. So this is cool because you can get to it from the main bedroom too. We've got our nice barbecue area. Mmm, now I'm hungry. Next up is the main bedroom. This is a very calming, earthy space. Again, lots of natural materials. Probably too much timber for my liking in real life, but I love it in The Sims. Built-in wardrobe. And then we have this gorgeous bathroom. And then the shower is just hidden behind this half wall over there. Also, if you wanna walk through your houses like this, you just press tab on your keyboard when you're in live mode and you can roam around and Two of the houses like you're a real estate agent. Oh, I love this living area. Just over here is our office. Oh, and our Sim's already using it. Love this space. And this could actually be a third bedroom, doesn't have to be an office. And then this leads outdoors, which there's also a way to get outside from the kitchen as well. So this floor plan definitely makes a lot of sense. If you put it on a bigger lot, you could have a much bigger backyard with a pool. Bins here. Hey, stop speeding. Just in here, we have a second bedroom. That's quite nice, quite spacious. Love it. And then just in here is wall. And just in here is the main bathroom, which is obviously a bit smaller so yeah let me know what you guys think of this build is it something that you like and just a reminder if you want to see some behind the scenes content make sure to become a member if you can but if not no worries because we still have plenty of builds coming out and lifestyle vlogs on my second channel as well um anyway you guys thanks so much for watching this video i hope you're having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and i can't wait to speak to you all soon Dag -dag.